Hey, what's going on guys? John Lee here with another video. So this is kind of a good one. Um, Orkin, obviously the pest control people, called me or sent me an email. They wanted to have another interview. I turned them down last time, but so I just left, just left this interview and I tell you, it was, it was pretty pathetic. Uh, you know, where my goals and aspirations are right now compared to working for somebody else, you know, and then the competitive market that we're in the workforce, uh, man, that was really not a good interview for them. And it, but it really made me feel good about myself and where I'm at with my own goals and aspirations and dreams. I've been chasing my dreams and I've been getting so close that I can fucking taste it. But I just wanted to go over a couple of the things why I turned this job down for the second time. And the first thing he said to me was, you know, the guy was really polite and all this, but he asked, uh, you know, he said the beard would have to go uh, because we have a no beard policy. I uh, don't know if that's a problem for you. And I'm like, ah, you know, it's not really a deal breaker. But, you know, my honest opinion is what the fuck is like, who the fuck cares if somebody has a beard, especially if they're a pest technician, they're doing shitty work, crawling around in fucked up, nasty places of your house, doing fucked up, nasty shit but I can't have a beard. Next thing you know, I probably can't have long hair. So we continued, I said, ah, you know, that's no big deal, I'll just keep going. Uh, but then, you know, I really wanted to get some details, so, you know, walk me through a typical uh, day, uh, week, you know, he's, you know, how does the pay work? And he basically said, uh, we'll need you Monday to Friday, and some, you know, some weekend, some Saturdays a month, and obviously, I'm have my own business, uh, doing aerial photography. I got to have some time to push my own, my own business. Uh, and so I'm like, yeah, the Saturdays, you know, I really can't. Well, and I thought about it. I said, well, you know, it really depends on, you know, what your pay is and you know, how sweet the pie is. Uh, but I said, one well, about how many hours would you say? I said, you know, walk me through a typical day. And he said of the hours and he said, well, a typical start time is about eight o'clock. Usually you're done around 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening, Monday to Friday. And I was telling him I started really thinking about it. And it's like I have this, generally I teach Wednesday evenings. And since I had a baby, you know, I'm more of a family man now that I'm a little older. And I've got a mortgage and I've got bills and I moved a little outside of town. And so, uh, you know, I need a certain package. I need a certain amount of money to make my budget and pay my bills. And so then he's like, uh, yeah, eight o'clock. And I was like, you know, I'd really like to be home at least some of the time for dinner time and to put my daughter to sleep because of all the pandemic and everything. We're pretty used to just, you know, never had a babysitter or anything. Our daughter is used to us being at home with her. So, uh, you know, that probably wouldn't work. And then, and then when he told me that night, I started thinking, well, that's pretty close to 10 hour days. That's pretty close to 50 hours a week. And I said, well, how does, how does that work? And uh, he said, well, you would get paid a percentage. You would get paid a percentage of the job. So you go do a job and then you'd receive a percentage. And I was like, so I'm thinking in my head, that's 50, 60 hour weeks. And I thought, so do you, so you don't pay overtime then? And he's like, yeah, this position would not pay overtime. And, and and all I can really think about to myself is what a shitty raw deal this is for anybody that actually is looking for a job or a career change and they act like, you know, what, why are you looking for a career change? Like I'm going to completely and totally invest my life into chasing being a fucking pest control technician? Come on, man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I'm all about technology. I'm all about growth. And I told the guy, I'm like, hey, I just want to feel like it's a mutually beneficial deal where there's just as much room for growth at the bottom as a starting technician or down the road as there would be for people at the top. And I explained to him that, you know, there's, I have potential in my uh, drone business working for myself to make a lot more money. So to completely take up my week and a lot of my weekends that would prevent me from being able to push my own business doesn't sound mutually beneficial and to not pay me overtime 
to work 50, 60 hour weeks. I mean, these people have just lost their fucking mind. Now you ordinarily wouldn't think, you wouldn't ordinarily think that somebody would actually maybe say all these things or ask all these things, but here's the thing. Here's the deal. Really, when you're going to an employment interview, your job is to interview your employer or potential employer just as much as they're, you know, interviewing you. So, if you think you can get better, you probably can. If you've had better, then you can probably get better. So, when I first walked in, and this is the last thing that I'm going to say, but I, I forgot to say it a minute ago. But when I first walked in, I was 15 minutes early, and I sit down. They have me sit down and wait for the guy. And I hear the the secretaries, there's about two or three of them in their office, and they're on the phone explaining to their clients how they don't have any idea when they're going to be able to reschedule. They're having a short of, shortage of technicians right now. Uh, they're really, really sorry. And so basically, as a technician, back of the house, we don't want to hear shit like that. Like, that's not a good thing. It doesn't make me feel good about working for a place that's getting calls where their clients are upset and ticked off. I know that kind of, you know, customers are just that way. But if a technician knows that up front, they're probably going to be asking you some serious questions. But they, you know, they said that the beard was a deal breaker. The Saturdays was a deal breaker. And when you got customers complaining and bitching and delivering a horrible customer experience like that, why in the fuck aren't you hiring decent fucking technicians, pay them whatever the fuck they want to deliver a better than excellent customer experience? Because I can tell you what, I have experience in delivering customer experience and there's no way, unless you make that pie so fucking sweet that I would consider losing all that family time, all the opportunity for personal and professional growth for myself, my family, and my own business. No way. Take that shit somewhere else, man. You can call Orkin, or you can get out there and bust your ass and risk it all because why not? It's your dream. If you're not going to chase it, who the fuck is? I'm John Lee. If you like videos like these, hit that like and subscribe button for me and ring the bell for notifications. I'm on to the next one.